Hi, I'm Carl. I'm the team leader of Birds Hill Auckland Zoo. I'm in the flamingo habitat at the moment. Um, and I'll just tell you some facts about the flamingos. So we've got 22. So we can tell all the um, flamingos apart because they've got the yellow band on their leg. And as you can see, it's got the initials on. This is Otis. So they've all got them, except one of them. So next time you come to the zoo, see if you can spot him. That is Richard. He's a really, really tall flamingo. We've got Lizzie and Cole who like to come up and give you a little uh, bump with their chest on your leg when you come in. Um, we've got Willoughby, who's really, really tall and likes to bite you on the head. Um, we've got, who else is quite funny in here? We've got Errol. Errol likes to follow you around waiting for food. Magdalena, she's always the first one in for food. Otis over here, he's quite a friendly one. We do um, a great health check with them twice a year where everything is checked so we check their mouths their eyes uh, their feet uh, give them an overall body score which is when you touch their chest and you give them a score from one which is really really thin to five which is quite plump so you kind of want to be a three and a four so you might notice in the around everywhere and especially in the pool there's a lot of feathers at the moment so the flamingos have just finished going through their molds at the moment most of them have finished so that's what all the feathers are. It's a natural occurring thing. So after the breeding season, um, they start to shed feathers, grow new feathers, keeps them nice and clean, nice and healthy, and it's just a natural process. Unfortunately for us, we have to clean it up. So this is their mud area. There's a soak hose underneath, which makes it nice and wet, and the flamingos can dabble in there. We dry it out a little bit more in the summer because they build their nests here. And when we do that, we introduce um, like a clay, which helps build up their nests and they do it themselves. So they get clay, leaves, twigs, extra um, mud. And then we sometimes start to build it for them to encourage them. So we've got this nice beach area, which is estuary sand, which is really soft for their feet. And that's really important. Flamingos can sometimes get sore feet. So also we put these rocks in, they're nice and smooth manipulates their feet and makes them move around which is good for blood flow they've also got a really deep area of um, water here so they can swim properly off the ground and then this area here is a shallow area this is really important for flamingos because they like to stay together as a flock it makes them feel secure so we like to give them different areas where they can all be together at night when there's actually no people here and we've seen that a little bit at the moment, uh, while the zoo's closed, flamingos will spread out in their enclosure if they feel really secure. And as you can see, they're kind of doing this a little bit now. But that's the only difference at the moment that we've really found with, uh, with the zoo being quiet. The flamingos are acting like they normally would. So, as you may not know, uh, zookeepers are essential workers, and that's because, you know, we have to be here to uh, care for our animals. So. Our day-to-day -day really hasn't changed that much, uh, apart from social distancing. But um, we're kind of used to what we call uh, barrier management. So all the different enclosures, we wear gloves and we, some of us, we wear overalls, change our boots for different enclosures so we aren't moving um, any possible bacteria around. So we, we're kind of used to that situation and of what's happening right now. I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching the flamingos and uh, meeting me. If you want to see more videos, then check Auckland Zoo's uh, social media and website. Um, and we hope to see you soon in the zoo. Thanks very much.